Sometimes you're my sugar. <gasps> Tasty meatballs. <laughs> Worked for those babies. I don't know if this is gonna work out. What could go wrong? I never said I had good aim. You guys, I'm at Costco, duh. And <laughs> I just had to show you this because I talked about it last time. Look, so cute. And look, they're even doing it with Kerapi. Oh my gosh, should I get him too? I don't know. There's already one in here. Good afternoon, everyone. It is 3.45 on a Sunday. James and I were feeling, you know, a little cooped up at the house. We just kind of wanted to get out and about. So we're going to Starbucks, getting a little drink. And then I think we're gonna do what we love to do when we don't know what to do on a really hot summer day. So we're gonna walk around Ikea. Actually kind of funny because, you know, I haven't been doing this whole vlogging thing for a long time. Ikea has already popped up on my channel more than once, so I think by now you guys kind of know I love Costco and I love Ikea. By the way, fun fact, a cinnamon roll, which you can get at Ikea, is called a schnubelin in Swedish. Well, that technically means the cinnamon roll. The cinnamon roll. Yeah. Or if you want to say a cinnamon roll, you would say in schnubelin. And then if you want to say the cinnamon roll, you just take the N and you put it at the end of the word instead of before the word. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for choosing Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, can we get two venti green tea lemonades with light ice? Do you want the sugar? Okay. What else for you? Uh, that will be all. Thank you. All right, it's going to be 963. I'll stay here for them. All right, sweet. We did it. <laughs> sometimes I do sugar. Sometimes I don't do sugar. Sometimes all I want is sugar. Sometimes you're my sugar. <laughs> that was so smooth. <laughs> wow. You too. Thank you, you too. Yum. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Starbucks. Eat fresh. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Ikea tasty meatballs. Meatballs tasty. <laughs> oh, meatballs tasty. What is that Ikea song? <laughs> when I was seven years old, I accidentally fell down the escalators and I got these gnarly scars. So sometimes, even now as an adult, I get a little nervous. talking about me buying my own paddleboard or kayak. I think I'm gonna go with paddleboard though. So you're just gonna like get some space. The one we bought last time was also a two-person okay? But just honestly with paddleboards, they don't seem big enough for two people. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do, you know? <laughs> We're talking about when James met my family in Taiwan. They all tried to feed him, and every time he ate something, they all clapped. Woo! <laughs> Ikea is one of the best places to come to get your 10,000K steps in on a hot, hot day. James just informed me that I said 10,000K steps. I take that back. It's 10,000 steps or 10k. We learn something on this channel every day. <laughs> this is cool. Guys, look, this is my neighbor. Hello. You guys, I did my first level two Pilates class today. I usually do a 1.5. One of my friends, she has workout goals. She inspired us to do the level two today and we did it. I feel so happy. You know, one of the best feelings is realizing that you're stronger than you think you are. 
I had some trouble with the core work. It was so hard. My abs were burning, but I'm really proud of my balance and how strong my legs are. Um, I have bigger legs and I definitely have felt really self-conscious about them, but then I realized just how much they can do, how strong they are, how stable they are, and I just, I'm so proud of them, you know? I worked for those babies. I always grab the little cart. So cute and tiny. I'm actually gonna go to a party tonight. It's one of my friends' husband's birthday. We're doing a little barbecue, so I'm actually just gonna grab some chips. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to make this minestrone soup and I'm trying to not use uh, canned beans as much. So I have a bunch of dry beans. I did not soak them overnight, but I did learn that you can actually instant pot them. Right now I have some chickpeas, northern beans, and pinto beans. I don't know if you were supposed to put them all together, but we're just gonna try it. I added some cloves of garlic, some bay leaves, salt, and a little bit of olive oil. I don't know if this is gonna work out, but Experiment, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so here are the ingredients that we're using. I got some fresh oregano. We're gonna need some onions, garlic, potatoes, some veggie broth, some tomatoes. I know these are cans. Look, it's baby steps, you guys. Everyone's doing their best. I also got some pearled barley, which I've never cooked before, but should be interesting. And then of course my beans. Definitely link this recipe below as well. So I've actually never made minestrone soup before, but my friend sent me this Instagram video of this woman who said that there was this family in Sardinia who they have like the world Guinness record of longest lived family in terms of like longevity and that their collective age together was 851 and that their oldest was 109 and every single day for lunch they had a glass of wine a slice of sourdough bread and a bowl of minestrone soup and of course you know I think blue zones are really interesting and of course I know that there's a lot of other things they probably did to help with their life but I just figured oh, a soup you know, you have protein, you have carbs, you have fats, I mean, some veggies, you know. What could go wrong? Oh, um, I forgot with the ingredients list, you also need some carrots and some celery. Now, my celery is kind of struggling, but I saw this cool thing you can do to kind of perk up your celery, so let's just try it. Cut off the ends of the celery and then soak them in to a glass jar for a few hours. We don't really have a few hours, but I'm just gonna see how good I can get it. Please like and subscribe. Let's see how this works. If it doesn't perk up, that's okay. Even though the celery is limp, because it is going into a stew, it's actually gonna be fine. I just wanna see if we can give it a little pick-me-up. It's like Botox for vegetables. I've always wanted to be an artist, but frankly, I have no talent. And I think that's what really draws me to cooking because it's an opportunity to really create something. And typically, there's always all these colors and shapes that you can play with. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. How are you? I'm good. Now, I'm definitely like an amateur cook, but I have improved over the years, and I just want to keep improving slowly and surely. My dream is to host like an eight course meal with all of my closest friends and I do it not stressed and I look nice and and everyone loves the food and it's delicious. <laughs> you guys, I cut up this bowl of onions and the smell is just wafting towards. Oh, like my eyes just cannot. I never said I had good aim. <laughs> you guys. Look at the celery. Wow. What an improvement. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there is a cure to limpy celery. Gosh, you learn something new every day. Ta-da. Okay.
Everything is prepped. And now we're just gonna hang out once the beans are done and then we'll just throw everything together and hope for the best. The moment of truth, everyone. They're ready. You guys have an Instant Pot and forget to soak your beans. This is your key. So this is also my first time eating beans cooked from dry and I am not exaggerating when I say the flavor is incredible. There's so much more depth. It tastes way more satisfying. My gosh. You know, I was trying not to use cans for like health reasons, but flavor alone is worth it for the extra step, you guys. You have to try it. So happy with the way it turned out. It's satisfying, it's hearty, it's cozy, it's extremely nutrient dense. Now I don't have red wine, but I do have oolong tea and I do have sourdough bread. So let's enjoy what we created together, shall we? For you.